Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about the EU, a massive, massive crypto bill agreement coming out of it. And it also involves the US and the IMF, which the EU is going to meet with. So they've, great, they've agreed on a legal framework for Bitcoin and currencies known as the Markets in Crypto Asset Regulation, also known as MICA for short. Now, this regulation won't come in until 2024, but they've actually agreed it. Now it just has to agree to it. Now it has to go through the checks. And I do think this will affect how the U.S. and maybe the IMF sees crypto. Um, of course, the bill was signed off by members of the EU Council on Wednesday and it has a regulatory framework previously established in June when we uh, talked about this, but we don't really know the full text of the bill yet. So basically, they established licensing requirements for exchanges and wallet providers across 27 member countries of the European Union, including a need for checking user identity. Obviously, they're really, really on board with the KYC AML thing, as you would expect for any kind of international crypto agreement. A lot of people aren't going to like that, but KYC AML is going to be very, very dominant or predominant in the cryptocurrency realm. Additionally, um, the legislation does impose capital requirements for service providers, and they need capital requirements and backing to essentially prevent another Terra Luna from happening. So you can see how Terra Luna has increased requirements, which could actually be a good thing for crypto service providers to avoid liquidity issues. While the full text of the legislation is currently sealed, the bill is expected to be covered by EU's official journal before it go into effect in 2024. So obviously, like they're going to check it over again, but it looks like it's going to go into effect in 2024. And, uh, you know, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is at the forefront of all agendas for the EU. They're taking it a little bit more seriously than the U.S. And their uh, regulations will come to fruition faster than the U.S. But even if it's faster than the U.S., it will be at least 2024, which means the U.S. could get pushed back to 2025 or later. That's just to show you the slow pace of cryptocurrency uh, bills moving forward. And it'll be several years before we see any real re legislation. It might be after the next bull run before we actually see any meaningful legislation. So basically, um, this will be the first attempt globally at creating a regulatory framework of this scale. But obviously, they have to get other countries, notably the United States, to actually buy in. And that's no easy task. That's why they're going to meet with the IMF. That's why they're going to meet with the U.S. to discuss regulation. Hopefully, they can hammer out an overall global framework. I do actually think if the EU and the U.S. agree, I do think that can go a long way to bring the rest of the world in line because China doesn't allow cryptocurrencies. Europe just banned Russian cri cross-border cryptocurrencies. So there's a lot of this stuff coming in uh, that we really haven't discussed and that needs to actually be discussed uh, very much in the future. And I think they'll cover some of these things and grow one step closer to clear, concise crypto regulations. And if they follow the European template, I do believe um, that it'll come out more favorable than what we have right now. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.